Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. The big red truck that I created in Surviving Pertham is now complete. Alright, so I completed the big red truck in creative mode because I'm not sure if I am going to build it or, or rebuild it in the Surviving Pertham The Wasteland series. So I decided just to play around with it in creative to see if I could kind of build it up a little bit more and it did make some changes as you see here as you have a bit of a turtle shell in the back here that carries this big old drilling machine that I was trying to create in the series but it all went really really bad of course and minor changes here in the, in the truck itself so I updated the rover a bit, the truck, so I can upload it onto the workshop for you guys to play around with. And in addition, my other two rovers that I created um, in this series itself. But let's talk about the big red truck first. So the big red truck, of course, has that piston style opening so it can flip this drill system um, down on the landing gears so that it can start drilling downwards. The biggest issue from my series is that it caused a little bit of a clang and everything just blew up. So that was the biggest issue. But if you go through it, I did a change here as well. I put a piston with landing gears so it could lock in place before I move this thing around or turn. And this big drilling system is being carried by big old landing gears underneath with a little bit of a camera there as well just to kind of see where I'm going. Everything else is still the same piston um, and hinge system here that's going to push forward this way to extend it to a 90 degree um, range on the hinge back here. And it's, it's not auto lock on the landing gears, but it's four points of contact. So it should like kind of stand up on its own before I lock it. But it is housing two large cargo containers, four pistons and five drills. Um, on an advanced rotor, so it spins. So it's my traditional drilling system that I usually make um, a rotation of 4 RPMs and the pistons going down at 0.001 or it could be, it could be 0.005 um, so it has a steady um, downwards motion with a spin to it. Uh, you could always adjust that if you like. I'll put this on the workshop as well. And the great thing about it is when you put on the landing gears, the turbine actually works, which is pretty cool as you see here. So yeah, it's a very simple drilling system to be honest. Um, everything is gonna pretty much be worked out down here. So you have all your buttons here. Turn on the drill. Turn on the pistons to go reverse. The advanced rotor to be on or off. So you get the 4 RPM spin. So that's what's going on now. And of course a switch lock for the landing gears. So you can turn off the landing gears if you like. But of course when you're drilling, you probably want to keep that on. So that's the drilling system. The truck itself, it seems to be working okay, not too bad. So I put a control C here just so I can check out what's going on. So my buttons here is basically let's decide to lock the side pistons on the truck. So that's on the control 2, which is the second tab of controls. Put that down, it should have an auto lock function and locks right there. It looks like it's not really touching the ground but it's locked which is good. And then we go back to control 1. That is where we will press 1 to reverse the pistons and it should push it off but it's having issues for some reason. So I, I had ran into that issue previously as well and it looks like I need to constantly adjust the max right here just to get it going. So we can move it just a tiny bit and it should get going. But we can always kind of fix all this back to normal and let it slowly go. So sometimes I just got to give it a little push for it to get moving. But of course that's a little dangerous too. But I left it at 300 so it should slowly get there eventually as you see here. And then once it flips enough, we're going to press 2 to unlock it. Um, from the landing gears that's on the bed of the cargo thing itself and then when I unlock it It should fall on those four legs without any issues 
hopefully. And we'll see how that goes in a second. So once we get close to 9 degrees, right around there, we can hit 2, let it drop. And we're pretty much free from it. So we can press 1. Oh, I gotta unlock <laughs> the... Looks like I gotta unlock the landing gears on the thing itself. So I'm gonna have to go here to do it. I probably have to change the buttons around a bit. But it is what it is. So that would be unlock the vehicle. Unlock that. Move away. And now we can move it. I mean, there's, it's got to be a better way for it, to be honest. Um, of course, you can change buttons around. Uh, I just left that as that for now. But this thing now comes down slowly. This thing is set to go. All the buttons are on the bottom here. Once again, we can just lock it in place our turbine should start moving and we charge the batteries and of course everything else is here with the drills um, other than that we have batteries up here so you have four batteries on top it's covered uh, but you'll see it kind of right here i left some conveyor junctions here so you can plug anything in and here's a collect uh, connectors and the plan here is to just drop the ores for collection instead of actually connecting into anything but um this was just a simple drill you can build any kind of drill system uh, uh, on top of this vehicle here which would be too bad and of course i changed the hinge that was here into a rotor instead which made a little bit more sense um the driving of this thing it is not too bad it looks pretty cool so when you turn of course the whole vehicle itself turns the, the cargo portion of it turns with you as you can see here it doesn't turn and jackknife too much because it kind of hits the landing gear over there and it just prevents it from going crazy so that's a advantage of having a little bit of blocks there but the turn radius is horrendous of course as you see here but hey this truck is co finally complete in a way and you know able to use it which is great Alright, so of course, if you want to load the systems or uh, the drills back on, you want to kind of back up into it the right way. Um, I'm, pro I'm on the wrong way now, but of course, you can always bring it back up right there. And with the camera, you can kind of see where it is, kind of. And then you just back up into it, lock into the landing gears that are attached to the bed. I want to show you that right there. That's the landing gear, that's the landing gear. And that's pretty much it. And it should be able to carry its weight. I haven't tested it out if it carries a full load of like stone, iron, or any types of ore. So you might have to play around with the piston torque a little bit. I did try something else and that was to create a reversed piston to give it a little bit more strength and stability. So I put a hinge system here. Um, and hit it up there diagonally, but it didn't work out. It wouldn't want to go anywhere. So that was a bit of a fail. So the big red truck is done um, I'll again, I'll put in the workshop for you got to play around with and of course you can always build a different drilling system This was just a simple quick thing. I just put together um, with a little bit of design which is a little Not the greatest thing in the world, but it's workable it's doable and at least we can see the truck um, working in a sense instead of um, debris all over the ground all right so the next thing is the buggy that i created for the unknown signal collection so i'm gonna put that on the workshop as well this thing is a little bit of a speed demon that rocks a little bit not the best vehicle i made as you see here it rocks but of course it does help with collecting unknown signals if you want to use a rover to do so so you can always grab it and bring it back to base if you like to um <laughs> a little wheelie there but yeah it's not the best rover i've created in the world but it's a workable one so feel free to play around with this and of course we leave the best for last and that is the crocodile truck so the crocodile truck or the croc i call it of course has that interesting or weird design of the front door which is pretty much a hatch system where you can close the lid, merge it, and you're pretty much in a kind of an airtight system 
Um, of course, there's no air inside it though, but it is airtight. If you can find a way to put an air system in there, that works too. But you can open and close this easily without any issues. And of course, if you exit by mistake and you close and left the hatch closed, you can't get back in unless you make a hole in the in the doorway or press this button where it will unlock and lock the front. So if you press it again, it will unlock the merge and lift it up. So that's through a timing block that is hi hidden right down here. Oh, the vehicle is kind of flipping on its own for some reason. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's because I hit the gyroscope that I have programmed to unflip the vehicle. There you go. There you go. All, all better. Yeah, so if you got out with the door closed like this, press the button. And it'll open up so you can always get through it. So that's kind of the safety net. I've always pressed the uh, exit button without opening the, up the hatch itself. But yeah. Um, the more the more interesting part of this is the piston with the hinge that makes it possible to close the hatch door. Other than that, everything else is generic. You have your batteries uh, or detector to look like an exhaust. Two large cargo containers and a connector or a collector at the very end. The rest is a bit design, and of course it has six wheels. Uh, one of my better looking rovers, uh, more of a kind of practical in a way, where you're just um, becoming a shipping rover or a cargo rover, which is not too bad. Uh, of course, if you've seen the series, there is a bit of issue uh, with the merge with the, and the hinge. If you have too much sitting in this container back here and nothing in this one, it tends to flip forward. So yet you can't merge it at that point. But with the empty cargo, um, it looks fairly well done. Where you can see here, it's closed and opens easily without any issues. And of course, because I flip my ship, my because I flip my rover too much, I have the gyroscope program to override so it does the spinning um, to get yourself out of a, a flipped. Uh, a flipped rover basically so this one will be in the workshop as well and i hope you guys enjoy this build the sl small little buggy build and of course the big red truck which was the main point of this um, video and showcase in the workshop builds all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and of, of course enjoy the builds in the workshop if you guys get a chance to um, subscribe to it and play around with it of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, the builds, and the workshop items, please hit that thumbs up, like the video, consider subscribing to the channel, hit that notification bell, feel free to leave us some comments, and of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.